Hello guys, welcome to a loot crate that is really late. I uh, This is the November loot crate combat. I am behind, my camcorder broke, and I've been trying to figure out a setup that I like with the new camcorder, the new camera. Um, and this is not, this is not it. This is not the setup that I like. I, I want a top down view as well, but um, I'm, I'm running out of time here. The December loot crate's gonna come and uh, I'm still not ready. So also, um, I knew they were sending me a level up, which is bonus items. Uh, they were doing that for Christmas, but it's the, it's the level up for the, the combat crate. So I was waiting for that to come too, um, when I got that like two days ago. So anyways, I'm gonna open up the loot crate here as we always do. Um, I know I know there's a fallout item in here, um, but that's all I know. So uh, again, I don't, I don't know how, how well things are, are being displayed. I don't have a good monitor for my new camera yet. Um, so hopefully this is, this is all good. You guys can see everything, everything's beautiful. Um, <laughs> okay, there is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder. This is amazing, I like this. Oh my god. Oh my. This is amazing. Hold on, I'm gonna take these glasses off. Oh my. I wish Jeff Probst is in front of the mirror there so I can't see my mirror. This, this is the best loot crate item there's ever been. I, I'm not even joking. <laughs> They got TGV Ninja Turtles on the side. They, they look, they're, they're really nice quality. Sun stashes is how they're who's made who made them. So uh, while I'm going through these things, this month uh, I only got one thing from that company that mails us stuff to give away, and it's a food item. So I'm not going to give it away, but I will show it, um, and you guys can uh, can check it out. All right, so we got a Vault Boy bobblehead. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, Loot Crate sent an email in 2016. Uh, there will be every loot crate will contain a shirt which to me is the most valuable item I, I wear the loot crate shirts all the time the the one the uh, the Bill and Ted's excellent adventure loot crate shirt is my favorite uh, I think it's just because the color of blue but it's also really soft anyways um, so if you want to get loot crate by the way it's lootcrate.com slash good if you use the promo code good uh, you'll get 15% off or 10% I never can remember that number um, all right let's see what we got here Hello. Stick your bobbly head out here. Bobble. Bobble. Vault 111. That's pretty cool. Turn my glasses back on. I can't see shit. Oh, wow. Um, alright. Alright. I like the shredder glasses better, if I'm being honest. Um, alright. This is Blizzard's Cute and Deadly. Who all's in here? We got Kerrigan, Arthas, Oh god, I hope I got Arthas. Do we know who we got? Oh, I hope it's Arthas. Uh, Sylvanas. Sylvanas would be alright. A Murloc. Oh, Mur a Murloc looks awesome too. Oh, the Lucre exclusive Murloc. So that's probably what we got here. Oh, but there's a Lucre exclusive Arthas. Let this be Arthas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How do I open it? Why is it so difficult? It's all glued. That's why it's not taped. I, I don't like that kind of packaging. This is like a, a really dumb problem to have, right? But uh, I prefer tape oh it's there's another there's another layer of surprise come on come on you can be Arthas you can be you can be Arthas I'm not gonna be disappointed with a Murloc but I'm gonna be way happier if it's Arthas what the hell is that that's not Arthas that's not well that's Sylvanas okay well wait but it said Loot Crate exclusive was gonna be one of these bottom ones Maybe, maybe the uh, level up has one. I just want Arthas. Okay, well, there's Sylvanas. <laughs> I dropped her. I'm sad it wasn't Arthas. Alright, what's next? Um, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 pin. Made in China, ages 14 and up. About to make a really bad joke. I was gonna say it was it was actually made by Chinese people that were at least 14. There wasn't child labor, but anyways. <laughs> um, the gift of a geek from Loot Crate. 
Happy holidays at Loot Crate. We're trying. We try to make our, our crates a special. Um, Regift your loot. This is a regifting tags. Hey man, there's probably tons of stuff you get in these that you don't actually want, um, but you would gladly give it to someone else. Um, okay, well at least at least we get magnets, so we we got Arthas in some form. Oh man, he's so adorable. I wonder if anyone has loot crate out there that got Arthas. Oh shit, there's an Illidan. Is there an Illidan figure? No. That Illidan looks badass, man. If you guys can see that. Illidan looks amazing. This is Magnets, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Oh, it's a Deathclaw. Deathclaw? Is that the right name for him? God, it's been so long since I played this game. I don't know who everyone is here. I feel like I should. There was a time when I would have. I don't know them all though. Wait, that's cool. I want a death. I want a uh, Illidan man. There's not one on there. Um. All right, here's the magazine. We'll we'll hold off on that for a second. The combat. What is on there? I can't actually tell what that is, and it's probably not focused for you guys because. Focus is like right here, technically, so I think you might be able to see it. I don't actually know. Again, I'm not satisfied with the camera setup. Um, I want it to be different. Looks like we got a comic book here. Street Fighter Hyper Looting, Loot Crate Exclusive, episode number one. So is there gonna be more than one episode? Um, looks like it's Street Fighter based, obviously, because I said the word Street Fighter. Got Bison and Guile and, what the hell's that? Boobies. That is not Chun Li. I don't know who that is. She's got hearts on her boobs, though. It looks like Chun Li, but it's not. I don't know who that is. I think it's supposed to be Chun Li, actually. All right. I don't know how to show the book because I normally have a top-down view. Um, stuff. There's things in the book. I'm going to look through the book and, uh, oh, Loot Crate on YouTube. Did you know that we make and sponsor dozens of entertaining and sometimes even educational videos? I, I, I didn't make the cut. Um, the Mega Crate, oh, the Mega Crate, that's a pretty cool brew there. It's like all, all it comes with an Amazon Echo, it looks like. Um, all right. Dude, look at that Arthas. I think it's weird that the Loot Crate exclusive ones weren't, weren't guaranteed in. I'm harping on that a little bit too long there. <laughs> I just really wanted an Arthas. Uh, all right, let's put these guys back together. And while I'm doing that, um, let me show you guys the one item I received this month, not not part of Loot Crate, um, from that company that has given me so many cool things to give away to you guys. Again, this one's a food item. I'm not gonna mail it out, uh, just because I don't I don't like mailing food to people. Um, like when people mail me food in my PO box, I just trash it because. You don't know how long it's been in the mail and how much poison was added before it was mailed. And <laughs> I want to mail you guys something and it already have been poisoned, right? And then I get blamed for poisoning you. It's just a whole mess, the poisoning. I'm having a hard time here. All right, this that's good enough. It's good enough. Um, all right, this is what. <laughs> This is what I've gotten this month from, and I can't remember the name of the company. I'm really bad about this. I, I This is a first world problem of mine, but I wish that the people that mail these type of things would make sure they included their company name. Um, Green, Green Fire Productions LLC. They make these uh, not safe for work fortune cookies apparently. Um, and uh, so here they are, here they come. 
they're not safe for work, whatever that means. And uh, let's open one up. So I don't want to go on a rant, but I don't understand the term not safe for work. Like who decided, again, this has nothing to do with this product at all. Um, but who decided that work is the safest place? Like right now I'm, I'm technically working. So this is not safe for this video. When you think about it like that, like shouldn't it be like not safe for school or not safe for kids or not safe for church or isn't there a place other than work? Like how is every job had somehow been encompassed in this thing where it's the safe space? <laughs> Don't let don't get triggered at work, guys. Um, all right, let's 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 pop this, this bad boy here. Oh, it, hmm. Kind of gives it away on the back. It says not safe for work, so you can't really, really trick people with these. Oh, shit, half of it's in there. Well, that's not safe for anything. The people you think of as, I think it's just friends, but part of the fortune just got stuck inside the, the thing here. All right, there we go. The people you think of as friends are actually sociopaths conspiring to play an elaborate prank on you. <laughs> okay. I guess that's not safe for work because then you like lose your shit and you go on like a postal spree. All right, so that's that. You can get them on Amazon and they're $29. I think that might be a little bit overpriced. But it's a cool idea, and then I, if I'm gonna give a complaint, I don't think that on the back it should actually tell you it's a it's it's a joke thing because you can't can't really trick people with them that easily, right? All right, I made a mess. There's crumbs everywhere. All right, let's check out the level up bag here. I've never uh, I've never gotten one of these before. So every month, um, whenever you get the normal loot crate. You can also get a level up bag if you, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it costs. It's, it's a little bit extra and it comes with companion items for that month's loot crate. So this is the level up for combat, the combat collection. Um, I guess it's got a little second uh, book here that says what I was in there, but I'm not going to look at it yet because that'll give everything away. All right. <clears throat> So we got a shirt here. It's an Attack on Titan shirt. I'm not I'm not familiar with Attack on Titan. It's also not my size. What fucking size is this thing, Jesus Christ? Well, I guess it is my size. Technically, it's really big. Oh, it's long sleeve too, or something. That wouldn't go all the way to my, uh... oh, I guess it does. Okay. All right, well, there's that. It's been right on it. Human Expansion Titan Research. I don't know what Attack on Titan is. Isn't that an anime? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, socks. Men's Crew Socks. Fallout Socks. That's pretty cool. If you like wearing graphic socks. Um, and now, I don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, it's, it's socks, again. I don't know what it's what it's branded as. What was in this crate that looks like a dead soldier? Maybe Fallout? Maybe they're both Fallout? Maybe. I think maybe they're both Fallout. Maybe that's all Fallout. Attack on Titan wasn't there. Um, this is a Fallout something. I don't know what it is. Nuka Cola. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. It doesn't want to come out. Wait, is it a bag? Is it a. Why is it. Oh, I see. Now this is cool. This is cool. Check this out. This is badass. All right, so it's a bag. It's got uh, 
a, basically a Nuka Cola ad on it. Zap, that's thirsty. Um, and it's even got like this thing basically becomes reversible at that point. So you have uh, like a pouch on the outside of your bag. And then technically you can just zip it back up and put it right back into the bottle cap there. And there you go. But that, that is really cool. I like that a lot. Badass. And last but not least here, a Mockingjay necklace, or James necklace. Someone said the other day, it looks like Johnny Bravo holding a, uh, the, the like outline looks like Johnny Bravo holding an arrow. I can't get this to position in the way that that's the case. It's easier whenever it's not like you can actually see the definition of it. So that's everything. That is the Loot Crate combat and the level up portion of the Loot Crate and, um, and my not safe for work fortune cookies. And I got one more thing. Joostra, Broadband TV, they sent me a Christmas card. Deck the halls. It says, uh, May joy, May joy, May the joy of the season be yours, your, uh, yours the year through. Good, wishing you and your family a very happy holidays. Joostra and Jason. Uh, if you guys don't know who Jason, you won't. You probably know who Joostra is. If you don't know who Jason is, um, he also works at Broadband. And, uh, there was a sweater. It says, uh, much, much holidays. It's got a dude, a doge on it. Um, it's got like, uh, like the YouTube play button up here. Thumbs up, little Christmas tree. I think it's adorable. I don't actually have any like Christmas type sweaters. So this is my first one. And, uh, so thank you, broadband. Just want to show that while I'm, I'm making a video. Might as well, right? Um, and that's about it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I will try to make sure the December crate, which I should be getting in like a week, um, I'll make sure that actually comes out at an appropriate time. Uh, sorry for the delay. I'm gonna try to work out. So like, this is this is not even important. But um, what I had done before is where my new camera is at now. That's where my camcorder sat, and then I had a GoPro here. But the GoPro ended up being the majority of the video, right? So like, what you're seeing on the screen is the GoPro. And I could do that still. I could still do that, have this camera here like it is. But the thing is, the video feed from my camcorder, I put in a tiny little box up here. So it just feels wrong to record a beautiful 4K video and then put it in a tiny little box. So I feel like this new camera needs to be the primary video feed. But putting it here, just looking down, feels like I'm wasting the camera's potential as well. So. I need a new format, and uh, I'm just trying to still work it out. I I kind of wanted it, it, to change it to just be a single, like you don't even see my face, because you don't really need to see my face anyways. And so I tested that camera, the camera you're coming from, um, back here behind me, like looking down. The thing is I couldn't get a good angle with the tripod, so I was looking into buying something that either hangs from the ceiling and holds the camera, or a tripod with like an extension so that I could get it right here, kind of looking down. Anyways, still a work in progress. Hopefully in the next week or so, I'll work out a better setup before the December crate. Uh, thank you guys for watching as always. Be sure to leave a like and all that other YouTube SEO bullshit that makes people come to my channel and me a reason to make these videos. Um, <laughs> and I hope everyone had a happy holidays. If you don't see any more videos before Christmas for me, then enjoy yourself and uh, bye.